Well, I think when we look at the board, uh, we look at who's available. Uh, regardless of the depth, if we really like that player, um, we're going to take them there. If we know there is good depth and there's at two positions and two players are graded pretty close, uh, we will take the player that has the most or the least amount of depth. I like the players. I like their talents. I like what they were able to do at their universities. Uh, as I mentioned on Monday, uh, the acquisition of players is just a component of it. Uh, obviously, I feel better about where we are um, today than I did on Monday because those are four quality players. But as I mentioned on Monday, it's just a component. Everything, uh, because we knew there was certain amounts of depth at all the all the different positions, and we just had to wait it out. Um, again, trading back in to the, the fifth round with a future pick, um, we didn't want to let a, a defensive player like Isaiah Loudermilk out there. So to be able to trap, you know, to be able to draft that young man at that spot, I think it was just indicative of the people that we felt were available. In Isaiah's case, there wasn't a lot of defensive linemen entering into this draft. And, uh, you know, obviously they started to get picked. And that's why we were willing to trade a pick from next year because we were pretty sure we'll have some type of compensatory pick. That what.